butt. Ew, Henry, don't do that. Her butt smells. What the? I wanted to call you before this gets a little too turned up in here. Hey, Bray, take care of her, okay? Dude, I can barely take care of myself. I am not a light. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. What's in my wine? What is that? What is that? Where'd it go? <gasps> it's still in there? No, this all just sounds aggressive. Oh. What's up, guys? We already started. Drinking. Okay, let's chug. Chug, 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 chug. This is my second glass. Cheers to you guys. I cracked my fancy bottle of wine today. That's fancy? <laughs> Brandy and I are basically gonna and build gingerbread houses and answer your Twitter questions. All right, before we start building these, we got a sponsor. All right, shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm a huge fan of HelloFresh, as you guys know, because I hype them up on this channel a lot. I'm super busy, so it's just nice to come home and have like a meal and ingredients prepped, you know? So we're gonna make some pasta today, the Southwest beef cab, I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, let's get it. Now the holidays are hectic, but HelloFresh is gonna help you keep things simple with recipes, ingredients that cut out grocery shopping and limit meal prep time. So you can spend more time, you know, this season with friends and family. And HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you'll get something delicious. Also what I love about HelloFresh is the variety. They offer 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, okay? Including vegetarian, calorie smart, you name it. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means that there's less prep for you and less waste food. So you guys go to HelloFresh.com, use my code NEZA14 for 14 free meals plus three free gifts. But yeah, thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I will have all the info down below for you guys. I cannot recommend enough. All right, let's go. We bag. <laughs> Gotta massage the cream. You nasty. It's good, Henry. What do you want? Oh, I did, Henry. I love you. The way we talk to our dog now is just, it's like permanent too. I feel like we talk to each other like that too. But like, Franny. Yeah. Like Franny, no. No. <laughs> Franny, no, don't do that. Franny, don't do that. She says that to me a lot. <laughs> I've been a little unstable recently. <laughs> been going rogue. Franny, I won't talk to Franny for 24 hours and she'll text me the next day and be like, so guess what? And I'm like, the amount of times it's at, like, Neza left town, I remember oh, yeah, last year, but I bought my car. She left town for a couple days, I bought my car. She just sent me a picture of the Range Rover <laughs> and was like, guess what? And I was like, <sighs> we got back from Miami and I literally texted her and went, like, two days later something happened. And I was like, oh my god, Neza, da 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 I, like, sent her voice with, like, a million voice memos. Oh, yeah, no, she texts me and she goes, are you up? <laughs> are you like, awake? It's like, and it's like not even. It was it, no, it was like midnight, but I was dead asleep. Oh yeah, she was like, I'm half dead asleep. asleep. What's up? She was like, Are you awake? And anytime Franny sends that, it's something happened. So I'm literally like this. I'm like this. <laughs> no, but what happened? And then she beep 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 beep. All these voice memos back to back, and I was like in bed like mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. she literally is like, I was like I, she goes, I'll see you for two days. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't see you. No, I said, I don't speak to you for 24 hours and you go rogue. And you literally do all this. You do whatever you want. Just keep your pieces to yourself. Those are oh. yours. <laughs> all right, we haven't even answered any Twitter questions, so sorry. One second. They want to nibble. No, I know. I want to eat the. Is it chocolate? Is it chocolate? You have something really dry and like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. Where's the windows? Oh, windows is front. The and then, oh, these go like this. What is this? The this back? way? That is the back. It's not even flat. Yeah. Your red houses remind me of Corey and Crawford. They did it at Strom, but I came over for literally no reason because that was like when I was just like a, a rat to my friend <laughs> and I would show to their houses for no reason. I remember and that video. And I literally showed up and Corey and Crawford were building gingerbread houses for the CNC channel. And I literally was dying because they fucking ruined, like, it was a mess. mess. And I always, like, remember Corey and Crawford's gingerbread house. Didn't we also do a video for my channel? We did a competition. I remember they won. We did blindfolds. Or we had to, like, remember you had to tell me how to build the thing? Oh, hell! So, yeah, I know. <laughs> and now you have to take that and then you have to push. 
What is the most awkward situation you have been in? I definitely can't say. I mean, there's so many that I can't say. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? It was a while ago. Like, back in the day. I was dating app, right? And I matched with this guy. And we didn't even talk on the app or whatever. It's I hate dating apps, first of all. Doing like I'm I'm at this event thing and I'm in this I'm in the van. Um, I'm in a van waiting for like more people to come in. And he we literally matched the night prior and he walks in as a plus one with some girl. And I literally <laughs> almost threw up because I was like, are they dating? Did, did you speak? Yeah, no, you did not. Yeah, no. No, we literally, yeah. we literally, literally played it off as if we didn't. I, I don't know if you knew. Do you think I he knew? I don't know, I but I said, it out. hi, I'm Franny. Because you did match the night before. No, so how did he not know? I talked about awkward. I was like, hi, I'm Franny. He's, hi, I'm so and so. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Only that would happen to That's me. That's awkward. My awkward one that comes to mind, um, it was both awkward and like, oh, but I ran into my ex of six years brother at Target a that? year after we broke up. So this is like right after um, Silver Lake. And I ran into his younger brother at Target and I hadn't spoken to any one of the family for like, literally like a year a year and some change at that point and it was just so awkward because we both saw each other at the same time and i was like ah, but it was like also like oh because i love him and obviously he was one of my best friends for years so it was like oh like we talked and like but my heart stopped when i saw him and it was yeah it was interesting oh so, what Oh my god, you are so off topic. What do you mean children do this? No, <laughs> because I can't even. No, I know. I know. Just like hold it. I think we're being impatient. I'm not. To you enjoy your New York trip, what would you say was the best part? Probably ice skating at the rock festival. Ice skating was hilarious. That was like, has always been a dream of mine. I grew up in Jersey and like, I would go see the tree, but I never have gone ice skating because first of all, it's expensive. And third so of all. So expensive. And so you have to wait hours. I didn't know about any of that. You had to wait a lot. Like when we were, when there was really people waiting for hours to skate. Um, so yeah, we were very blessed and got to do that. Cause that's like a one and done. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again. I don't know. Unless I have like an opportunity like that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I don't think I can Cause we went three we hours. Went, we went for a work trip. Like yeah. we, weren't, we weren't there like just to hang out. We were yeah. working literally in New York and in Miami. <laughs> Favorite characteristic about one another. Favorite characteristic. Um, I don't know if this is a characteristic, but I love that like you're like motherly towards me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Then very much so. Like I just always feel like if, I, if I'm with Nezla, if I know I'm traveling with her, if I know I'm going That's out funny with her. because I feel like the one that I was gonna say for you kind of the goes same? hand in hand. No, not the same, but goes hand in hand because I was like, I was like, Franny just makes me laugh, man. Like some some things, like the, just something she does in life. I don't even question it. I just observe, you know what I mean? From like, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, like so it kind of, yeah, it goes hand in Hand in hand. It's yeah, so fun. I always do dumb things and Neza saves me <laughs> and she laughs at me in the in the in the midst of it all. We laugh together. Someone want these? Yes! There you go. Happy holiday holidays. Oh my god, imagine that's on Christmas Eve. Oh. oh my gosh, you guys. Franny, our families are spending Christmas together, together. again. Um it's gonna be We spent it together like two years two ago. Two years ago. We're doing it again. This We're doing year. it again, yeah. You know he scares me because you know how they say dogs can see spirits, and he's the type of do I don't know. <laughs> he's the type of dog that just will stare into the abyss, and I feel like I feel like he's like seeing somebody or like. That's scary. Who gets the most drunk? I've never seen. Well, neither of us are messy. First of all, yeah. Never. I feel like you like are more like you don't you don't do it as often. It has to be a very. Or, I mean, at least now it has yeah. to be like a very special occasion. But yeah, neither of us get messy. Yeah, I see. I know when Franny's like feeling myself. feeling herself because her eyes will be like this. Magic. Her eyes will start to like Magic shut. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you plan to do on Christmas? We already kind of answered this, but what do you plan to do on Christmas? Because it's Loki and Henry's first Christmas. 
No. Oh, they're gonna be together. Yeah. We're How gonna, are you? We're gonna have something here with our family. Yeah, my family's coming down. You know, from the Bay Area, and we're gonna have Christmas together because everyone else is leaving. Oh, where my puppet? He's so big. Like, there's no way. <laughs> He's like 15, no. 16 pounds. 16? He's like close to 16 pounds. Is he gonna get any bigger? I think he might. I think. Oh. oh. This lady met Loki today, and she was like, "Oh, what is he?" And I was like, "Oh." I was like, he's half Australian Shepherd, half Chihuahua, and she like looked at his paws and she goes, oh, I give him another 20 pounds. I was like, don't say that. I miss you, I miss, I miss your smile. smile. I don't know what song I was singing. What do you mean I know I miss you by Miley Cyrus, but like the back of my freaking hand. I just saw a tweet that said I miss you, so I was like, I miss you. So here. How'd you know I was singing that song? I miss you, smile, and I still shed a tear every once in a while. I'm definitely tipsy. Also, if you're wondering, I definitely Ubered here because I knew that this was how this was. Hello? How this was gonna go. <gasps> I don't want to do this anymore. No, we have to. It's not working. We have to do it. How are you supposed to like, next time? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get fucking super glue. I why won't it stay? Am I putting too much? I need to check more, right? Oh, yours fell apart. Oh, completely. Did you not see that? No, two seconds ago. Replay. Check more, right? Okay, we're gonna build Freddy's because hers isn't falling. And I am. I'm too tipsy to try and figure this out. You can't have chocolate, okay? You poo poo everywhere. Yeah, and then you, you poo -poo die. everywhere. Freddy! You don't even put icing over here. Where? Look here, there's nothing there. She's always it's falling. It's falling. There's not even. You put it's no icing. You put no icing. It's still falling. You put absolutely no icing. Hey. It's just funny because, like, oh, yeah, it's still the gingerbread house. I never look forward to doing this because I know this is what happens. I, you know what's funny is I've never built a successful gingerbread house. I don't. Um, I've never built a gingerbread house <laughs> until I was 20 years old for some reason. And you know what? I get why. They had a pre-made one that you just decorate with candy. I probably should have gotten that one. We just kind of like, what if, like, what if we just do this? This is pissing me off so much. I hate this. So sorry you guys don't get to vote this year on whose gingerbread house is the best because I don't think we're gonna get there. Not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> Button gumdrop. <laughs> Gingerbread or candy canes? Candy, candy canes. canes. My favorite song at the moment. Oh, um, I heard it today actually. I played it or we played it in my car like 10 times. Mine's so random, but yeah, go. Super cuts by Jeremy Zucker. Yeah. I've been playing Jeremy Zucker all day. Um, I love Jeremy And Zucker. the other song that I liked was 18. I like that song. She's yeah. 18. And she does what she likes. I don't even know the words. But. Fletcher and Haley Kiyoko. What is it? It's called Cherry. It's just like And then on the Haley, it's really cute. Her name's Cherry. I think it's cute. But it's cute because it's cute because Haley's verse is like it's like Cherry. Hello, nice to meet you. My name's Haley. It's cute. Guess how much alcohol is in here? No wonder we're dizzy. Off two glasses. Oh. Fifteen point five point nine. That's why we feel. No wonder. That's why I'm full. I'm floating. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Yes. You can. Wow, that's very impressive. What do you do when you feel down and lonely? Need advice? Love you, X. When I'm down and lonely? I call Honestly, myself. yeah, we call each other. Friends are like, good friends are like the best thing. Yeah, like when you're like feeling like down or upset yeah. or like lonely or you feel like kind of like, ah, uh, like you're kind of yeah. anxious being alone and you're like, because trust me, I feel like I'm very like, I've gotten a lot more used to it, but like when you're like anxiously alone with yourself, it's like the worst feeling. Yeah. Like you don't know what to do with yourself. Yeah. It's like calling a friend and just kind of talking it out or like talking with someone. 
Yeah. That, that's what helps me. And if you feel like you don't have that in your life, because obviously there's some people that's like, oh, I don't really have that. I promise you on Twitter, in this, especially in this fandom and this community, you will find somebody online um, to speak to. So, or just, you know, letting you know. Writing? Oh, yeah. It's very therapeutic. Yeah, fair. And I will say, getting like to jump, throwing yourself into it is kind of hard, but once you start doing it, it's like when I'm anxious and I'm like at night and I'm in my room and I'm really anxious, I'm like, but I can write. And it like yeah. calms, it's like weirdly calms me down knowing that I can just like write my feelings onto like a piece right. of paper. And I leave my notebook on my nightstand, not yeah. even in the drawer, but on top so it's easy accessible because sometimes when you're in that mood, you're like, oh, I have to get up. I have to go get it. So I just leave it on my nightstand. Guys, I'm telling you, writing helps so much. Like, if you consistently write at night or something or whenever you get anxious, knowing that the, that you can write whenever you want is like, I don't know. It helps me. But that's just me. What is the most annoying Christmas song? I'm sorry if anyone likes the song, but like, the, the first Noel, the angels No. I've never gotten into that one. Rum, bum, bum, bum. Um, um, yeah, 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 the yeah. little toy soldier, toy yeah, soldier um, one. Um, um, drummer boy? Is it drummer boy? Yeah. It's awful. It's not what I paid for. It's not. It sucks. It's so yeah. slow. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, I am. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Elf. Elf. I'm gonna say Elf. A Polar Express. Polar Express is cute. I, I love, love the Home Alone movies. Yeah. They make me laugh so hard. <laughs> you know what? Another, going back to that question, another thing I love about Franny. When watching movies, we'll actually laugh out loud or cry. <laughs> whichever, you know, the movie's about. But I'm a very emotional person. Yeah, but like it's just, it's very, it's, it's funny having a friend that actually will laugh out loud at movies because I'll laugh internally. I'll be like, oh my god, that, that movie was hilarious. But Franny, especially when we're on flights, We'll be <gasps> laughing no, out talk, talk loud. No, about when we were flying in, to Australia. Fred was like, I want to watch this movie. And I was like, don't do it. I was like, you're going to cry. What movie was that? It was a very sad movie. Oh. But anyways, but I cried. We're like in the air. She's like midway through the movie, almost stood up. And she's like, and she's like pointing to the screen and she's like crying. And I'm like, <laughs> what's a lesson that I've learned this year? Holy crap. Um, a lesson? Patience. Franny has her patience tattooed on her. I don't know, maybe to just not take life too seriously because... No, literally that's exactly what I was gonna say. And not take life too seriously because yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Like think of like moments where you really thought you it, weren't, gonna be, you okay. weren't gonna be okay and then now and then you got through it. Like, like no matter what, yeah. no, it's really crazy how like you feel like the world's ending, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like you're gonna be fine. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. You'll be okay. Yeah. No matter what, you're gonna be okay. And I think that's like the the biggest lesson I learned yeah. is like when your world feels like it's falling apart, like it's I don't know. It's, it's just gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Like that's not the end. Yeah. Even though it feels like the end, it's not the end. And like there's so much yeah. more that there is to offer yeah. offer you. Sorry, this turned into a black bomb, guys. I don't really know. Oh my god, will you join Reality House Season 4 if there is one? I feel like you maybe. I'm too like... Not that I'm too competitive, but like... Games and challenges like that, like... I get too, um... I, I don't know, I don't like I don't like being... I don't know, it's weird. I told Candy, I was like, Why well, haven't I been on a Reality House before? And I was like, not that I need to be on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, why haven't you asked me? And they're like, Franny. You would hate it. I'm like, okay, bet. <laughs> like, they're like, yeah, if you want to do it, we'll let you in it. But if not, like, we'd rather you not. Can you believe Croft yeah, won season it. one? That's so Every weird. time I think about that, it, it mind boggles me. Mm -hmm. Not that my baby is smart. Okay. <laughs> I remember even finding out when we got back to the house. And I was like, oh, who won? They were like, Crawford. And I was like, oh my God. If you had a movie made about your friendship, what would the title be? And who would play you guys? It would be called Cheese Mosas. <laughs> Tell us today. Tell us today when I texted you. Oh my god. I said don't say the name. No, I won't, I won't. So Franny today was like, oh my god, I have, or 
So and so gave me cheese. You said gave yeah. me cheese? Yeah. No, you said I got no, I got cheese from so and so. And I was so hungry in the moment when she texted me that that I legit thought that this person had given her physical cheese. And so I'm like, oh my god, where did, did they travel? Like, did they where did they get this cheese? No, they gave her like tea, like gossip. We just said off camera that we're floating. Oh my gosh. I think for you it'd be like um Camila Mendez. Okay. Yes. I'll take it. And for me, hmm. Who has like curly hair? The girl from Mount of Rain. Ooh. Yes, I don't know her name. I don't know her name either. All right, you guys, I don't know what this was, but I am definitely way more up in the air than I was last video. Is that your second one? Like, one so? It's my second one because I'm we already- We need to finish that bottle. I'm Here. already messed finish up. up. Here, fill it up. Franny! Franny, I'm gonna spend the night here. Okay, good. They're not gonna get a video tomorrow because my ass ain't gonna make it home to finish editing it. I'm lonely. Oh. Oh, oh you even more? Yeah. <laughs> so you can sneak out and pass out. There you go, for you. Literally, you pass out, I'm gonna sneak out. Franny has this new thing where if I come over, she doesn't let me leave. And in like two, is it two weeks ago? Three, two and a half weeks ago? Yeah. She picked me up from my house, which I should have known. I should have known as it was happening, but she was like, oh, I'll pick you up, whatever. So she picks me up. We go do something, we come back here. You know, it's getting late. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. And she's like, no. And I was like, I ended up sleeping here for 48 hours, so. Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping here, this is great. I should have brought my lappy toppy. <laughs> Where's your laptop at? It's at my house. I'm gonna have to Uber to get it. <laughs> they come back. <laughs> yeah, do that. Come on, we'll work together. Okay, this works. Okay, I'll have Crawford pick me up. <laughs> Baby, can you go get me from Franny's, please? Like, oh, hell. He's gonna be like, oh, hell. Hey, guys. No, Neza. No, I don't even know how to do this outro. <gasps> guys, I thought I didn't like, like you. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I am. On a whole, this is this is dangerous. Now we know. This is the. F <laughs> I've never floated this hard on camera. <laughs> I'm feeling nervous. Guys, that is the end of this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we'll see you in a year. Gingerbread. Maybe we won't do gingerbread houses next year. Maybe we'll do no cookie decorating. We clearly can't build gingerbread houses. Don't know how we continue to do this. Anyways. thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what else you guys want for vlogmas get it oh i get it vlogmas yeah i got it <laughs> another shout out to hellofresh for sponsoring this video you guys can check them out down below make sure you hit that subscribe button join the family and we love you we're doing great, great. So i'll see you guys next time bye guys love you i don't know how i did that normally because i'm legit floating so my body is <laughs> Oh yeah, bye.